Hi guys, welcome. Welcome to Prelims Affairs, where we discuss issues from Prelims perspective. Today, the concept is tokenization. With increasing digital transactions, we always put our card details in merchant website. For example, if we use Uber or if we use Swiggy or Zomato, we have our card details that are stored in these merchant apps or merchant website, and this increases our vulnerability. To reduce this vulnerability, the data that is stored in this merchant website or merchant app is replaced by a token. And this token will reside in the merchant's application and whatever details of your card was there, that is removed. And this is what is the process of tokenization. So basically, tokenization is replacing the 16-digit card number with an alternative number or a token. This token is uh, given on the combination of token requester, the device as well as the card. On the basis of these three, a token is generated and this token is saved in the merchant's website. Now the token can be used for online transactions, in-app so, you know, purchases as well as mobile point of sale transactions. These are the three, three areas where the token number can be used for transactions. The next is, in the merchant's app or merchant's data, no card detail is stored except the token number that increases the layer of security. On top of that, for any type of transactions that is done digitally in that merchant's website, you don't need to re-enter your name or the expiry date of the card or the card digits. You just have to enter the CVV and the OTP. So the CVV and the OTP acts as the extra layer of protection for the token. The next is, once the token is generated, can we delete the token? Yes, you can. You can go to that merchant website and whichever card is associated with the token, you can delete that card itself, that token itself will get deleted. The next is, what is the limit of tokens that I can generate on the amount of cards that I have? There is no limit. You can generate as many tokens as you can with as many number of cards that you have. The next is, once you develop the token, how can I know that which token is associated with which card? When you go to the merchant's website or merchant's app, you can see that the last four digits of your card number will be visible and that last four digits can be used to map the token number to the card that you have. So this is the entire concept of tokenization. Again, it's an application-based question that can come in prelims. So you should know always about such issues that are happening or the issues that are currently running in the Indian economy. I'll come back again with another issue, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.